Hey guys, Misa here. So today Amazon dropped the patch notes for the patch that is happening tonight. Well, right now um, on 428, 12 a.m. PT. Um, and I have to say that I am actually hopeful and impressed with what's happened in these patch notes. Um, I think that of course the patch notes um, with the updated event rewards is great, but also kind of their style of communication and just communicating in general. I think since the roadmap, things have gotten a little better and definitely this is a little more proof as to why it is. And we'll go into that in a little bit. For now, we'll hop into the patch notes themselves. So first things first, the express mission event, they are making it so that the people, some people who took the express mission event, they took it on their T3 characters on accident because they just weren't aware that this was something that they could do, which actually previously, I think it was a glitch because in the patch notes, it did say that only characters 1100 gear score and below can take it. But when it got into the game, um, people in T3 above 1100 were able to take it. So basically those people got it and weren't able to take advantage of the mats that they got and the uh, holding rates increased. So they're making it so that if you didn't hone on your character with, um, so if you didn't hone on your characters that you took the uh, express mission event on, then you can go ahead and swap it to another character. So basically, um, if you didn't use the um, bonus honing, uh, I guess benefits that it gave, you can swap now, which is great for all those people who took it in T3 and were like, well, I can't use this. Um, and they're making it so that if you got any rewards, you can't get those again. So it doesn't make, get into a sticky situation where it's like, oh, you get double the rewards. So that's cool. That's needed. The next thing is going to be the Guardian Raid event. So they are extending the casual Guardian Raid event up until May 19th to support player progression ahead of the May content update. Now, this is kind of foreshadowing a little bit about what they're going to talk about later, but they're pushing back the event to make it so that people can progress more to 1415 and get to Vault in by the time it comes out. So I guess in their data, they're seeing that people are not progressing at the rate that they thought they would or whatever it may be. Basically, by the time that the shop was going to close, they didn't think that people were going to get to the raid um, by then. So they're pushing it back to May 19th, and the rewards are going to reflect that as well. And they're also adding some rewards as well as removing the gem, the gem chest, because I guess people were botting, bot farming that. Um, and as a result, we're making money in gold farming. So unfortunate for the people who are, you know, who want gem chests but kind of a, I guess, what can you do about it, right? It's just the nature of free-to-play games, bots, hacks, whatever it may be, are always going to be existent um, unless there's some way to make it so, like, you know, in Korea, you have to connect your social security number to it, right? Or something like that, verify your identity. Um, through that, and they're also adding these legendary to rare card packs, three of them, uh, regular like currency chests, so silver, one of them, um, so a green engraving, so both class and combat. The blue ones, both class combat. Purple ones, both class and combat. So expect the engravings, which have been going back up again to go down again because of this. Um, they're making it so that so they're making it so that the some of the earlier gold rewards you get from World and Stronghold quests um, are changed again due to bots. Fortunate, but hopefully the new rewards will be good still and beneficial to your character either equally as beneficial or even more beneficial than the gold um, some kind of bug issues here um, the power pass bug issue here and here is what i wanted to talk a little bit more about in terms of communication they say as an additional note as players may notice the end dates of certain events such as the casual guardian raid event we would like to share that we are currently targeting the third week of May for our next content update. So there we go. They're being clear and transparent about when their next content update will be. I like that. However, the build is still in progress of being developed and we're continuing to monitor player feedback and progression from the April content update. This means that the date is not yet locked in or could shift and change. 
We will let players know what to expect as development progresses throughout the month of May. So basically, they're saying that it's probably likely going to come on the third week of May. But because they really want to make sure that the players are able to get to 1415 to experience vaults in, they don't want to release it too early, which is, you know, again, what they have happened with Argos. They release it too early. So they just want to continue to monitor these things and will update us if they do decide to push it back. But at the moment, it is slated for the third week of May. And I really appreciate that communication being specific about when the update is coming. And I think that's a good sign for the future because hopefully this means that they will continue to be transparent and update us about when certain things are happening, what is happening behind the scenes, etc., etc. So good on you guys, um, Amazon Game Studios. Hopefully, I mean, we can't always put all the blame on AGS, right? Part of it is Smilegate. I don't even, I don't know how big of a part. I feel like a number of the things in the past have definitely been largely due to Smilegate. Amazon, a lot of times, is just the messenger. So hopefully, they figured out some sort of way to make that communication between Smilegate and Amazon are clearer so that they, Amazon, can get us the information that we need in a timely manner. But yeah, this is good news. Hopefully, it'll continue being this way. Um, but yeah, that was Patch Notes. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that. As always, remember, hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications, and uh, leave a comment down below on what you think about their uh, communication, whether you think it's improving or not. All right, guys, until the next one. Peace out.